I looked at the credits of one of the worship leaders albums from that church and I called him up and I was like, hey, should I go like hang out at this studio? Like, what's your thoughts? And he was like, you need to go hang out with John Yash, who had mixed his album. Um, and so I, Grant had decided to uh, move on and do something yeah. uh, unrelated to to his work with Yash. Yash called me up and I was just about to start a, like a, a paid gig at, at a studio at East oh, wow. Iris. And he called me up and was like, hey, come work for me instead. And I was like, I don't think I understand yeah. now why I'm not, you know, my career hasn't exploded into the most amazing thing in gospel is because How did you get into mixing? That's probably like a good question to kind of sure. dig into and start. Like, what was that? What was that? What was the drive? What was? What did you get your beginnings? How did you start? How did you get into wanting to be? What's that journey look like, basically? Yeah, like a like a lot of people in music, um, it kind of started in the church for me. Um, really? I went to a, um, I mean, a small little church with. I mean, it wasn't like cool consoles and like yeah. a band and all that uh, you know we had a Mackie 24 channel mm. and you know, I was in middle school and I was like that's cool and really? um, I thought it was neat and so I um, ended up kind of getting trained at the church to, to run the sound system and um, uh, I just enjoyed it so mm. you know it grew and we started you know we had a little band and they had rehearsals and I liked to do that um, so I like to go and just play around with stuff and try to make it better and um, uh, and that sort of turned into, you know, well, what do you, what do you want to do with your life? And I was like, I don't know, I like doing this, so let's Interesting. pursue that. So I um, ended up pursuing um, a Bachelor of Music degree in recording technology. Okay, where'd, um, you, where'd you go end up going? Um, I, well, I got my associates first at Grand Rapids Community College in Michigan. Okay, so you're in Michigan. Yep, yeah, what I grew up in Michigan. About, yeah. Yeah, Michigan is just like where right. everybody comes out of in this industry. I gotta go spend some time in Michigan, it's crazy. Yes, yes. So uh, Grand Rapids, that's Grand Rapids, Michigan, yeah. So right. other side of the state from Detroit, but um, um, yeah, I went to school there and then I transferred to a little liberal arts college in Pennsylvania where I got my bachelor's degree um, before moving here to try okay. to actually make, make a music. life. <laughs> right. So I, yeah. I, I think I understand yeah. now why I'm not, you know, my career hasn't exploded into the most amazing thing in gospel is because I didn't grow up in Michigan. <laughs> That's the key. And then I didn't move to Nashville <laughs> after I, you know, grew up in Michigan because that seems to be like the two common denominators of like you started because I think uh um where's Aaron in Aaron from Michigan as well Aaron's from Michigan that's what I'm saying yeah, yeah. He, gets, he grew up near like on the east side of the state yeah. which so did Yash yeah. <laughs> so did Randy Poole which I that's know you I'm know saying. um yeah who else Lucius Hoskins who, who like produces like Zaccardi Cortez and uh plays guitar with Tank and like all kinds of stuff um he grew up in Grand Damn. Rapids like yeah there's all a, right so I want to start over my life from Michigan <laughs> I want to I want to press reset on my life go back to go back to and tell God I want to put me in Michigan yeah just there put me go. in Michigan, grow up there, and then move me to Nashville, and yeah. then my life would be <laughs> so much better in that respect now. Listen, I hope you are enjoying this conversation with John Blast. Uh, I got something really quick that I want to show you, though. Check this out. Hey, this is John Blass. You may have seen that I just announced my gospel producers mixing class. My intent here is to let you into my thought process, my insights, how and why I do what I do every day to create the best art that I possibly can for clients that I respect so much. Um, I get to work with some really incredible artists and this is how I think about mixing and music and art and how I get to the finish line with these records. Click the link in my bio or scan the QR code to gain access to this class. So grew up, you went <laughs> yeah. to the you went to the um, Pennsylvania, yeah. moved to Nashville. How did this connection happen with like Yash and all of that good stuff like that? How did that yeah. well, when I was that career? When I was um, in school in Michigan, um, I did an internship for a summer at a church. A big church. Oh, okay. With cool consoles and stuff. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like a big non church. Non-Mackie. Uh, right, right. They had, you know, they had a trio of Digico boards and like, mm. you know, they were broadcasting live and they had events there and like it was a, you know, a big church. Wow. Um, and 
So then later in my academic career, I was looking for another internship and um, trying, you know, trying to figure out what to do. Cold calling studios is a, <laughs> it's a tough game, <laughs> really. Wow. Like, so I looked at the credits of one of the worship leaders' mm -hmm. albums from that church and I called him up and I was like, hey, should I go like, hang out at this studio? Like, what's your thoughts? And he was like, you need to go hang out with John Yash, who had mixed his album. Um, and so I called up John Yash and he was like, yeah, sure, come hang out. So, wow. um, yeah, so I hung out with him for a summer. He and his assistant at the time, Grant. Yeah. Um, yeah and, um, yeah, I got to work on all kinds of cool, fun stuff. We did Kurt Carr that summer. We did a live recording with Hezekiah Walker. We did uh, a single for Lettucey. We did, wow. God, I don't even remember anymore. But, like, it was a, it was a great summer and I kept in touch and... When I moved back down here, you know, my connections were mostly through Yash. So I was hanging out with Yash when I could. I was hanging out with Randy Poole when I could. I was hanging out in studios. I had an internship at East Iris Studios. Um, so I was just kind of like doing whatever I could to stay in the game yeah. and selling clothes at the mall to pay my measly rent <laughs> and like whatever you could do. Um, and then it, it, Grant had decided to uh, move on and do something yeah. uh, unrelated to to his work with Yash and <laughs> that's what I, I uh, um, uh, Yash called me up and I was uh, and I was just about to start a like a, a paid gig at, at a studio at East oh, Iris wow. and he called me up and was like hey come work for me instead and I was like done done so done and done um, yeah so I started working with him um, and assisted him and worked alongside him for years on a wow. ton of records. Listen, I want to take this opportunity to thank you for watching this video. This is an excerpt from a two hour plus interview that we did with John Blass as a part of his Art of Mixing Gospel Masterclass. You can get access to the full two hour interview plus an additional three hours of content on mixing from one of the industry's best mixing engineers. So if you're interested, check out the link below or scan the QR code right here. And if you're not interested in those, then check this video out right here.